In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of looks inspired by the latest ballet core trend. As someone who only sort of dabbled in ballet and then quit when I was a little girl and then regretted it as I got older, ballet core is definitely one of my favorite trends. It just shows me a glimpse of what could have been but never was. Anyways, rather than the actual stage costumes, ballet core actually takes inspiration from mainly like the training wear that ballet dancers wear. So that can include like a really soft color palette of neutrals like soft pinks, beige, white, and blah, blah, black. You can also see a lot of shrugs, aka boleros, which are like really cropped cardigans, camisoles or tanks, like flippy layered skirts, leg warmers, flared yoga style pants, tights, and of course those shoes that look like ballet slippers. However, there are a few things to keep in mind when participating, is that what it's called, <laughs> in this trend. Just things to be like socially aware of. A YouTuber called Mina has a really good video on that explaining all about it. So I highly recommend watching that video if you're interested in learning more about this trend. But otherwise, let's get into the video and here are the outfits. So this is what we've got for the first look. Uh, featuring one of my favorite tops of all time that I own. This is called the Drake Top by a Korean designer brand called Three Times. It was like already my favorite top, but it fits so well into this ballet core aesthetic, so I love it even more now. It's got like this really nice, subtle, muted pink color and these really nice, like asymmetrical details. It's really stretchy, but the sleeves are like really tight fitted, so it actually does kind of feel like active wear. If I was just to nitpick one thing about this top though, is that like the drapes can be kind of like freeform like you can move them around so sometimes it like smooths over like the chest area um, when actually I would quite like the most drapes to be there to cover up my so I just need to keep adjusting the drapes to be like all even and then I also have these pont pants these ones are quite nice because they have this like v-shaped waist and the material is like thin but it's like not as thick as leggings so I would actually still feel comfortable wearing these out but this is kind of like the limit though <laughs> any thinner any tighter than this I just I have to wear like a jacket or something so they are kind of like yoga pants and that they're really stretchy and they're tight fitting and then they like flare out at the bottom I just really like the look of like flared pants I'm just a little over 170 centimeters and these pants are like the perfect length for me but I'm wearing shoes as long as they're not like very very flat shoes um, they will not be touching the floor they give off like a very relaxed look while elongating my legs since it's got a bit of a raised neckline I'm thinking just a very short choker style necklace like this one. This necklace goes with so many different looks and it is one of my favorites. It's really subtle but it really adds to the daintiness. I'll be adding this shoulder bag. It's like a light beige color and also my Nike Air Force Ones. Fly me to the sky above the clouds where all the stars are circling around with you. Okay, so this next look's gonna be all black, a bit of a black swan moment. So I've got this top that you would have seen in my last Cardi book haul. So what are these two dangling straps here for, you ask? <laughs> well, let me show you. So I found that there's a few different ways that you can tie this. Um, and they're all really nice, so you're gonna have to help me decide because I do not know. So first is the standard just tying it like this. And then it gives that like layered look because this is actually it's supposed to look like a two-piece with like the shrugs that I was telling you before. So you can have it like this, or you can bring the straps around, tie a bow over here. But what you can also do is crisscross it at the front like this. Okay, let's go with the crisscross because it reminds me of the way you tie ballet slippers, except like on your chest. There we go, trying not to imagine my chest as an ankle right now, kind of hard to unsee it. We have also got this skirt, so this one is a tiered ruffled skirt, shorts underneath. I'm loving this concept, a very flippy one, so very satisfying to do like spins, like if someone calls you, you're just like, huh? 
that kind of vibe. Also in the lineup, I've got these black arm warmers that I will be using as leg warmer imposters. And then I'll be matching it with this patent black shoulder bag. And I just always like to keep a claw clip on the strap. They always really come in handy and they look pretty as well. The patent would be good because it will help to sort of stand out against all the other black colors. And then my trusty black suede ankle strap heels, pumps, heels. I was also going to add some black sheer tights to this, but I'm going to have to skip this one because it is way too hot. I'm bo we boiling out here. Okay, so I put the tights on. By the way, as far as leg warmers go, if you don't want to buy any or if you don't have like arm warmers to use like mine. If you have like old knee-high, thigh-high socks lying around, you could just cut off like the bottom. And I feel like that could also work as well. I was thinking this could look okay with like a slow, sleek ponytail. Just to really show off that neckline. And that is the final look. I really like this one. And this is the next look. You bring the straps to the back and then you tie the bow over here. You could bring them to the front because the straps are long enough. And then you can tie the bow here where you can see it. I've been adding a necklace for all of these outfits so far, so might as well just keep it going. I'm going to add the silver heart necklace. It's got a very like big blob style heart. I pair it with the scrunch black bag and these pink lace up shoes. Okay, well here is a hairstyle that doesn't look too terrible. Okay, that's subjective, but I've just put some butterfly clips in my hair and clipped them back. You can also put another row here if you want, very 90s style. Unfortunately, these are knit materials, so they are thinner and I'm not the biggest fan of how they sort of like cling. Realistically, I think when I'd wear this outfit out, I'd probably put like a jacket on top. This is the final look. Starting with this tank top, it's like a cami tank top and it's got some lace trimming in the front with like a little bow detail, very cute. And then it's like a crop style. And then we also have this pale pink tennis skirt, um, which are actually shorts. So yes, they are skorts, believe it or not. But yeah, they're just really super light and airy. On top of that, I'm also going to layer this like light beige bolero cardigan. So it's in like this chunky knit. This. I'm gonna be pairing this white dainty heart necklace. It's like made for dolls, I swear. I'll be wearing these ivory knit leg warmers and then also with the cream lace up shoes. With this tote that has like all these flowers embroidered on it, I like the look of the bun. And then I'm going to be adding a scrunchie to it. So it's like white with like this really cute floral pattern on it. And just like that. And here is the final look. What were the stories from head to head? inspired by ballet core uh, how did you like it let me know in the comments which one was your favorite look and i love you all i'll see you all next time bye